We're about to show you a real-world implementation of interactive alerts being used in Karachi, Pakistan to track patients in a pneumonia surveillance study for a two-year period. We will be using RFID tags in the form of a bracelet like this and the Nokia 6131 NFC phone that has a RFID reader and writer embedded in it. First, folks at the Data Management Unit assign IDs from the server to RFID tags that will later be issued to patients in the form of bracelets. In Pakistan, culturally, the bracelet is very acceptable. We can assign IDs of different types. For this demo, we'll use test patients. Tags can also be reissued to patients in case of damage or theft while our system can disable the older tag and keep track of the current active tag for that patient. We are now at an EPI center where our field worker enrolls patients. After the parent has consented to participate in the study, the field worker scans a bracelet to activate the tag and ties it on the child's wrist. This change in tag status is posted on our server and can be viewed in real time. The field worker now collects further information about the child to complete enrollment. All patient data will now be linked to the patient ID on the tag. Now suppose a child is ill and visits a surveillance GP clinic. We have placed the same Nokia phone in a housing on the GP's desk. The child comes in, the GP examines the child, scans the tag and enters the diagnosis. This diagnosis is sent to our server in real time using GPRS, which generates an alert SMS Agaya to the mobile team, which consists of the surveillance medical officer and a phlebotomist waiting to respond to events occurring with our study subjects. The mobile team has now received the SMS. They know the time the child came in, where the child is located, and what was diagnosed by the GP, so they can respond to the event immediately. Now the mobile team has responded. The surveillance medical officer examines the child and documents the event. In some cases, the phlebotomist may need a blood sample. After drawing blood, the phlebotomist scans the tag and enters the culture tube ID on the Nokia phone. The blood sample is now also linked with the patient ID on the RFID tag. The same is done for all lab results and x-rays. All field data is available online. For example, we can get the patient ID, the diagnosis, the GP's location, and so forth. With interactive alerts, we can monitor events in the field as they happen, and it gives teams the ability to respond immediately to emergencies. This system links all patient data from enrollment to lab results in real time.